you doing okay? Good. Feeling better? Good. I've looked over your report and everything from the ER doctor and um, you had quite an accident. <laughs> but you are feeling better from it. Okay. Alright, so I'm sure they briefly told you, but the reason they sent you here is they wanted to wait a couple of days after your accident and then have me do a cranial nerve examination check on you. And the reason we do that is we're giving it time to, to wait to make sure there's no lasting effects from the head injury. Okay, so I'm going to be doing a series of tests on you. And they don't hurt, but um, they are uh, imperative for checking everything related to your mind, your face, your senses uh, after an accident like that, okay? Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is just get a quick check of your vitals because that's just part of it, okay? Alright, okay, so I'm going to just check your heart rate quickly. Before I do some of the other examinations, I am going to show you some flashcards, okay? You may think this is silly, but uh, this is to help us just to make sure there isn't anything a little bit off, okay? If that makes sense. All right. Did you look at this card here? What is that? Strawberry. Good. What color is it? this. Very good. And what color is it? Very good. Right. What is this? Very good. What colors do you see on this? You don't have to name all of them. Just give me three. Three different colors you see. Very good. Last one, what is this? Okay, very good. What can you make with that? What can you make with the bread? Good, two things, toast and sandwich, very good. Okay, now we'll get started with the other part of it, okay? All right. Have you had any headaches or anything? Since the other night? No. It's good you came out 
how you did. Um, that could have been a really, really bad accident. But we still need to just be careful and check. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be checking your facial muscles. Okay, so what I need you to do is, this may seem kind of silly, but go ahead and smile for me. A big smile. Okay, good. I'll be touching your face as you do it. Okay, and now frown. Big frown. Alright, now smile, and I am going to try to pull uh, the sides of your mouth down to make a frown, and you resist it, okay? Smile, smile, smile. Smile, smile. Good. Smile, smile. Good. Okay. Go ahead and open your mouth wide. Close. Open your mouth again. I'm going to stick to right there inside your mouth and I'm going to pull down and you try to close it. Please do not bite my fingers. <laughs> Just try and close it. Good. Very good. Okay. Let's check your eyelids. I'm going to be um, putting my fingers over them. I want you to close your eyes in a second. I'm going to press my fingers lightly over them and you try to open your eyelids for me, okay? Close your eyes. Okay, very good. Now try to open them. Open, 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 open. Okay. I'm going to be taking my hands and pressing wide on your brow area and I want you to try to furrow your brow, okay? Just do like that. Okay. Pressing up. against my fingers. Good. The other side. Good. Right. Just checking your facial muscles. Knot your neck up for me. Just feeling around on it. any injuries to your neck, right? Just the top of your head. Okay, go ahead and dip your head down for me. Look at the spot. Your injury is. How's the pain? Good. It looks like it's healing nicely. Let's do another quick test on your scalp area around that spot, okay? I want you to tell me when I'm actually touching you with my device when I'm touching your scalp, okay? Good. 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 To the back. Good. Good. Okay, so see your sensation is fine. Hearing. Have you noticed any type of changes in your hearing since the accident? No? Okay, good. Alright, let me just do a quick check on the inside of each one. So go ahead and just hold still for me. I'm going to just use this light. Just looking. I'm pull your lobe down. And just looking. Make sure I don't see any. from the accident that the 
closed. I want you to tell me when you no longer hear the sound. Just say, I hear it. I'm going to be checking simultaneously is your sense of taste and smell. You haven't noticed any difference in taste, have you? Have you been eating things you'd normally eat? So you know what they taste like. There doesn't seem to be a change in that at all. Okay, good. All right, we're going to do the taste first. This is just going to be a very short test. I've got a flavor here on the stone depressor. It is just a clear liquid, but it has a very unique flavor on it. I need you to open your mouth and say, ah. Oh. Stick it on your tongue. Pull it out. Okay, now taste of it. Can you tell me what flavor that is? Strawberry. Okay. Okay. Now I have got something here. I'm going to get you to smell up. And I, it's another, well, I'm not going to tell you because I don't need to give you, I don't need to let you know, but um, I've got another piece of something here. It's got a particular smell on it. And I want you to tell me what that smell is, okay? Put it right up to your nose. Smell. Another smell. That's right, lemon. Very good. That's really the only testing we need to do with that. Okay, the next thing I'm going to be doing is your sense of touch. I need you to go ahead for me. Just relax and close your eyes again. <laughs> Thank you. I've got two devices here that I'm going to be using. And one has these little bitty prickly rubber pieces on them and the other is soft. And I need you to tell me where you feel it at and which device you feel. Just say either soft or sharp and tell me where you feel it on your face, okay? Good, on your forehead, soft, okay. Your cheeks, soft, very good. On your nose, sharp, good. Forehead, soft, good.
little bit closer and do a little bit of a longer check on your eyes. Okay. So I'm just going to get you to, again, stare straight ahead at me. Checking. Very good. The other eye. And you said no headaches or anything. Okay. Very good. Just pulling the lid down. Look up for me. So that concludes all of the testing that we need to do. Everything seems perfectly fine. And I just want you to know that, um, again, you are very lucky after that accident. Um, but everything seems fine with your cognitive abilities. And if you feel like you need to come back, if you start having headaches or anything like that, you can always come back to us or see your general physician. The ER doctor just wanted you to come see me because I'm a specialist in the um, cognitive um, examination and the cranial nerve testing. So, if you feel you need to come back, you can. You can call us and make an appointment. Otherwise, you are good to go, okay?